A very good day to you. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. It's Friday, March 18th. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run. A Veterans Administration realignment report has recommended the closure of the Castle Point VA Medical Center in Wappinger after moving its services to a new location. Congressman Sean Patrick Maloney and Antonio Delgado, both Hudson Valley Democrats, have written to VA Secretary McDonough demanding that the VA ensure that any veteran who uses Castle Point would maintain equally accessible and high-quality care through a VA facility nearby before any steps are taken to close Castle Point. Their concerns may be premature since the Asset and Infrastructure Review said the 107-year-old Castle Point would not be closed until the new facility was built in Fishkill, about five miles from the current campus. A one-year committee review will be undertaken, followed by their recommendations being sent to the President and Congress. VA spokesman Cullen Lyon says nothing's going to happen overnight. In my personal opinion, as a VA employee and a veteran myself, I think that this would be a good thing, and I think as a higher level perspective, it makes me feel really confident and really good that the VA is looking to align themselves to be able to support the next generation of veterans. Lyons predicted the process may take as much as a decade should the decision be made to move forward. A construction worker was killed late Thursday afternoon when he was crushed by a piece of machinery near 1431 Route 300, the Newburgh Town Center in the Winona Lake area of the town of Newburgh. Emergency service personnel said town police and EMS staff, as well as the Winona Lake firefighters are on the scene of the incident in the vicinity of where a retail space is being remodeled into a home goods store. Police say a yellow boom crane being operated off a red truck somehow malfunctioned. The worker became trapped. The victim was crushed and pronounced dead at the scene, and an Orange County medical examiner was summoned to the scene. The five unions representing all of the employees in the Poughkeepsie City School District are joining forces in calling for the district to take immediate action to strengthen school activity. The middle and high school have seen a substantial increase in violence since the return in October. Poughkeepsie Public School Teachers Association President Kimberly Popkin says the unions feel there is an immediate need to bring safety to the schools. People are feeling defeated. Um, You know, we're not just dealing with you know, the violence, we're dealing with the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. You know, we have staff shortages. And so what we're looking for is we're looking for immediate uh, changes in or- so that when staff and students come to school, they feel safe. School Superintendent Dr. Eric Rosser said the willingness of the unions to have greater involvement will enable the entire community to galvanize its collective efforts to address the longstanding issues. More news in just a moment. Find over 100 retailers allowing you to spend hours shopping safely at the Galleria at Crystal Run. Enjoy the big brands and the diverse selection of family-owned stores all in one location. The Galleria at Crystal Run offers dining options for everyone with Fuji 110 Grill, Allen's Mediterranean Grill, and Peru Cuisine. Discover the Mid-Hudson Valley's premier shopping, dining, and entertainment destination, the Galleria at Crystal Run. For more information, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, or visit GalleriaCrystalRun.com. Ulster County Executive Pat Ryan has named Lauren Johnson as the new director of Ulster County Area Transit. He brings to the county 18 years of leadership experience in private and public sectors, including state and local government, social services, public education, and transportation. A Monticello woman was killed in a one-car crash on Forestburg Road in the town of Lubberland early Wednesday evening, the Sullivan County Sheriff's Office reported. The investigation at the scene revealed that Jacqueline Parrish was driving a 1996 Mercury Villager minivan when it crossed into the oncoming lane ran off the road and struck a guardrail. She was alone in the vehicle. Motorists who were behind the minivan and witnessed the accident stopped to help and called 911. 
Sheriff's deputies and Lumberland Fire Department personnel responded, providing medical attention and extricated the woman from the vehicle. She was transported to Garnett Health Medical Center, Catskills, by a mobile medic, EMS, where she was pronounced dead a short time later. City police in Newburgh arrested a Newburgh man on a charge of attempted murder in connection with the Tuesday attack on his own father. 40-year-old Rafael Carrera was taken into custody Thursday morning in the area of 79 Fulton Avenue. Police say Carrera had instigated an argument with his father as the victim sat in his car in the driveway of his home and proceeded to slash him with a knife. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run.